In this lesson, you will learn how to identify wholes using models and number lines. Let's review fractions. Fractions are used to show parts of a whole or group. Now there are two parts to a fraction. There's the numerator and the denominator. So let's talk about these two terms with respect to a fraction like two-fifths. Now the bottom number is called the denominator. And the top number is called the numerator. The denominator of a fraction tells you how many equal parts the whole is divided into. So with this fraction, the whole was divided into five equal parts. Now the numerator tells you how many of those equal parts you're looking at or how many you're, you're using. So that means with this fraction, we're using two of the five equal parts. Now sometimes the number in the group or the numerator is larger than the number of groups itself, which is the denominator. If we're talking about one group, then the denominator is 1, and the number in the group, or the numerator, is 1 or more. Now what I mean by that is you can have a case where you have a whole that's divided into four equal parts, but maybe you're looking at five of these four equal parts. Now this is a case where the numerator is greater than the denominator, and this can happen with regular fractions that are looking at parts of wholes or parts of groups. And there's another case as well where, let's just say you have four equal parts in the whole, and you're looking at all four of those parts. And in this case, you're using a fraction to represent a whole. If the whole is divided into four equal parts, and you're using four of those parts, you're looking at the whole. Now let's try a problem to understand this better. Write the fraction for the model. Well, this model is a group, and there are three muffins in one group. When you're using groups when it comes to fractions, the number of groups is the denominator. So we have one group. Now what we need to know is what is the numerator? Well, because there are three muffins in one group, the numerator is 3. So the fraction for the model is 3 over 1. Now let's try a different model. So here we have a length model. And the length model is divided into 1, 2, 3, for five equal parts, so that means each of these parts represents one-fifth, right? And what we want to know is what is the fraction for this fraction strip here, this length model? Well, the denominator is going to be five, right? Because there are five equal parts in the whole. Now all five parts are shaded in blue, so that means our numerator is five. So the fraction for this model is five over five five-fifths. This is the same thing as one whole. And you can see this visually as well because the entire rectangle is filled. So we're talking about the fraction that represents one whole. Okay, now let's go back to that third model. Here we have a number line. If you look at the number line, there are eight different parts that are in between zero and one. So the total number of parts, or the denominator of the fraction, is eight. Now, how many parts are selected, or how many parts are you using? As you can see, this red line spans across all eight parts, so that means we're using all eight of them. The fraction for this number line is 8 over 8, and this is the same thing as 1, or 1 whole. In this lesson, you've learned how to identify holes using models and number lines. Thanks for watching.